Hello there, today we will design and animate this HTML5 banner in Adobe Animate CC. I will show you complete process how you can create and animate this HTML5 banner in Adobe Animate. We will design this together so please watch complete video till the end and do subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends and colleagues who want to learn about HTML5 banners for Google Ads. I will show you how you can loop this banner three times or any specific time you want. So let's get started. First, I have designed this half page banner ad for Google Ads in Adobe Photoshop. You can see I have created each element as a separate layer so now I will export all elements as PNG by right clicking on this layer and ex quick export as PNG and I will separate all the images like this okay I have already separated all the images. You can do same. Once you extract it or separated all the images as PNG, you can now start designing on Adobe Animate CC. Now I will create new document and I will choose the specific size. I will choose half page add okay width is 300 and height is 600 i will now create first of all i will drag all the images to my scene like this now i will right click on it and i will select this other and distribute to layers now i will copy my design from my photoshop by ctrl a and pressing the ctrl shift and c i will copy and now i will create new layer here okay and i will paste it i will move it to the left as a reference now i will arrange all my images in the banner like this i will move this yellow up here like this I can align them to center like this and I will align this to right okay like this now I can delete this layer by selecting this layer and delete it okay now on the timeline i will go to the eight seconds and i will select one frame and drag it to the top okay now i will right click and insert grief insert frame now i will move my playhead to the first grief frame now i can 
convert all my assets to movie clips like this I can name each one button here this bg i don't need to convert it to symbol because i will not animate this background so i will lock this down by clicking on this lock icon now i will move my playhead around 10 frames here okay and now i will create keyframe here I will create keyframe for all my layers okay now I will move my cursor to first frame and now I will start animating these ones this now I select this logo here the logo will slide from the left I will move this to left and now I will choose from my properties menu and I will use this color effect alpha alpha will this alpha slider will set the opacity to 0 to 100 percent I will set the opacity to 0 percent now I will right click between this these two frames and I will create classic twin like this for this top design skills this will be slide from the right side I will do the same alpha value to zero and I will right click between this one and I will create classic twin I will choose this free online session button and I will move this one select this one and I will choose transform and I will set this value to 0% and color effect to alpha I will click between these these two frames and I will create classic twin so this will animate like this okay image I will move this to top and transform this one will I will set it to 50% and alpha value to 0 like this image and classic twin same to this one I will move this to right side and color value to 0 and create classic green yellow I will move this button here and classic twin this one this one can be like this and create classic twin 
now I will save this one I will create new folder I will name this one as per the name of this banner of page Okay, now I will preview this one. Like this. This is animating like this. Now I will address the animation timing here. First yellow and this image and this logo will appear. I will select all the layers except this yellow one like this to drag from right and move it like this okay first this yellow will appear now logo and this image I will arrange this, these layers now once again I will select drag and select like this move here and to this one at the last this banner will show ok now if we preview this one this will show like this ok for this image I want to add bouncing effect here ok now I will move my playhead to this frame and for this image I will add one keyframe and for this one I will move it a little bit down so I will click between through this and I will insert one classic twin so if we preview this one like this okay now I want to loop my banner three times so I will add one action here I will add new layer I will call this one action okay right click on the last frame and go to the action and here I will paste this code here I will provide you this code in the description of this video so you will be able to use in your banners okay now if I if we preview this one after a second this should repeat three times okay
now this is not fitting so i will make one more adjustment here i will go to this first frame here of this section if you see this little circle above this one i will drag this keyframe i will click on this one and drag it to my last keyframe here okay now i will save it preview one more time and now this one will repeat three times to loop animation you have to make sure that on the publish setting this option is checked okay now i want to publish this banner for my google ad campaign so i will go to the publish settings i will do some necessary changes here okay we'll go to this html.js tab and i will uncheck this one hosted libraries and i will choose one destination here i will make new folder here this one will be published file will save here okay i will save choose this destination folder here and i can publish this one now now i will go to this publish folder here i will edit this one for google ads so i will right click on this one and i will open it with notepad you can edit with any other editing tool i will i will go to this head tag and after this one meta tag i will add one meta tag here i will copy this one and i will paste it here and i will choose the size 300 by 600 okay you have to mention your ad size here okay whatever you are designing so this is mandatory for google ad banners okay now i will save it and i will close it and now i can compress this one and i can share it with my clients or i can upload it to my google ad campaign okay so guys here is the final html5 banners let me know in the comments how you find this tutorial and do subscribe my channel and share it with your colleagues and friends who want to learn about html5 banners designing and coding all right in the next coming video i will create all the assets in adobe animate itself so please stay tuned for the next episode thank you very much and have a great day